minutes. Let's see if this works. I should be live, I think. Hmm. Let's see. Hello? Everyone? Anyone? I don't know. Anyone there? Uh, let me see real quick. I need to actually get the chat running here. Um, auf Wiedergabeseite ansehen. That's where I want to go. Nine viewers! Hi! Hi there! So where are you going to? Eisbrecher! And the questions begin. Nice. Okay. Oh, I have to uh, stop my own stream, actually. Hi there, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Steven S, Red Masking, Mary Carney, and David C, and Noah D. Camp from Ohio. Hi there. Thanks for tuning in. How are you doing? <laughs> das ist voll okay, Red Masking. Alles gut. Alles gut. Ich kenne das. Bin ja auch Azubi. Uh, da ist das immer ein bisschen schwierig mit den finanziellen Sachen. Das kenne ich. So, when are you going to Eisbrecher? Do you mean when I'm... Well, when am I going to see them live in concert? I actually saw them last year live at the Mera Luna Festival. They were one of the headliners there. And that was incredible. That was a really great show. And uh, they're very similar to Rammstein, actually. So, I guess you guys might know about them and I might make a video about them as well in the future who knows uh, haven't really planned anything specific yet but uh, that might very well be the case and I'm gonna tune down the music a little bit let's see maybe like that Oh, uh, we'll see. No, that's quite loud, actually. I think. Aaron Courtney Smith, thanks for subscribing here on YouTube. And as you can see, there are a couple of, uh, well, alerts going on, including new subscribers on the channel, uh, so that I can thank you guys directly, pretty much live. And, um, yeah. Have you seen the new Rammstein video radio? I've actually made two videos about that one yet. Um, well, already. Well, actually, precisely speaking, I just made one video about the music video itself. And I made another video about the song itself and the lyrics, what they translate to in English. So if you want to check them out, feel free to do so. I've also made a complete Rammstein related playlist you could say with all my Rammstein related videos in there so if you want to check them out yeah feel free to do so and the late two latest videos the two current videos that I've made are Rammstein related as well there are they are uh, I think about well yeah it's both being about radio those ones right those were the last ones the last two ones uh, I actually get a bit confused about the, all the Rammstein stuff uh, going on at the moment, which is cool, of course it is, because I enjoy doing that. Um, how does Rammstein go over in Germany? Uh, so do you mean how what we think about them? Um, well, I mean, there are many people that actually like Rammstein quite a lot, and many people that are, well, well think of them as being sort of divisive in a way, of course. Not so much with the new video for Radio, but certainly regarding Deutschland and other things they have done in the past. But I personally really, really like what they do. And um, since I know that they don't intend to do any harm and they just want to provoke in the first place, they are not a right-wing band uh, in any way, shape or form. Um, I don't have anything against that. I mean, you know. 
Hello and hello from Illinois. Hi to Illinois. Greetings from Germany. Love you, Vlog and Vlog Dave. Aw, says Carly Statura. Is that correct? I hope I didn't butcher your name. Carly. And the music is still quite loud for me personally. Tune that down. Uh, I hope it's not too quiet for you guys on the stream. There should be a tiny little bit of background music playing. It's always a bit tricky to actually, um, well, set that up so that it's not too loud and I'm not too quiet and stuff. Yeah. Hope this isn't too deep of a question. What is the most common opinion from Germans about Americans stationed in the country as part of the military? Wow. That is a really specific question indeed. Um, whew, that's that's actually difficult to answer for me personally because I haven't really thought about that. I mean, I know of some people, not people that I know personally, but from thing well, media and media coverage and that kind of stuff. I, I've heard about people that or Germans that are. Well, quite against that and the whole Rammstein airbase and that kind of stuff. Talking about Rammstein, haha. Uh, although that's spelled with just one M. The Rammstein airbase in, I think it's in Baden-Württemberg. In the state of Baden-Württemberg. And, well, there are people that are quite critical about that because they say, okay, well, in 2019, is there any need for Americans or not only Americans, but maybe other countries um, to interfere with, well, our way of life or our living standards like that, just by being here as the military, as soldiers stationed here. But on the other hand, I think, you know, when something might happen, uh, also regarding the NATO, and it's good to have allies then and maybe to be able to react quickly. I don't know. I mean, I haven't really thought about that yet, so I can't give you a specific answer on that personally. But it's certainly an interesting question. Yeah. But, well, the, the closest... Um, <laughs> association I have with foreign troops being uh, stationed here in Germany is a also fitting radio channel. Yeah, because in Germany we have the BFBS channel. I think that's from the British military, like a British military radio channel, radio station. And uh, yeah. I love Rammstein. Hi from England. Mary Carney. Hi there. And thanks I love them as well, and greetings from Germany to England. Thanks for tuning in. Dam Breaker, liebe Grüße von Amerika. Well, lovely greetings back to you <laughs> from Germany as well. I'm doing f quite fine, yeah. Uh, I'm quite happy at the moment. I, I am doing fine. The channel is doing fine. Uh, also because of the Rammstein related stuff. Um, and... You know, I just experienced... Ah, thank you very much, David. Thanks for the super chat. Highly appreciate it. Um, I personally... I'm still speechless as to how successful all this Rammstein thing has went with my channel or has been going on because it still does. And I love to see, to read your comments and to see that, well, the vast majority of you guys really enjoy these videos. Of course, there are people that say, okay, you know, Rammstein isn't left-wing, Rammstein is right-wing, and you get everything wrong, and I know better, because, you know, I just know better. Uh, blah, 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 and that kind of bullshit. Of course, you also have that in the comment section, uh, and especially below the uh, Deutschland video, which is quite political, and usually I don't want to make overly political statements or overly political videos because I don't think that really belongs to this channel or the core of this channel but of course uh, you can't really talk about that certain song or that specific video without talking about the political historical background because that's interwoven so to speak intertwined so 
I think it's starting to rain actually. Which would be cool because it was quite warm in Germany for the past couple of days, which was cool, but there is some well needed rain as well. Perfect streaming weather. <laughs> um, Noah DeCamp asks, do you watch an Americans do you watch American sports in Germany? Uh, do you mean me personally or me like Germans in general? Because I do know of people or I personally also know people, uh, some of my class friends in school that also uh, actually play American football. Because we also have clubs here and we also have hockey teams and rugby and that kind of stuff. I think these days in 2019 that's quite common to have in Germany as well like little or many uh, clubs for those kinds of sports but it's not that it's not like it, it it's broadcasted anyway in any way shape or form like on uh, TV or big TV channels in Germany no I mean the stable there is Football and um, Handball. Actually, don't know what Handball in English is. Let me check that real quick. Is it Handball? No, don't think so. It's Handball. Okay, it's actually also Handball. Okay, then uh, Football, Soccer and Handball. Those are, I think, the two main, well, types of sports Germans usually pursue and like and love and that also get broadcasted and streamed on German media. Uh, whoops, no, didn't want to close the chat. Let's see. Um, that was correct from for American pronunciation. It is Polish. My maiden name is Hauptner. Uh, that I know you can pronounce. Yeah, that sounds very German, actually. So it's Kali Stachura. Sta Stachura? Stachura. Or Stachura. With ch, the ch sound. I don't know. Jade L. Hi. Thanks for tuning in. Hello, it's England. Did I see the Foo Fighters logo on your head? You actually saw that correctly. Yes, that is a Foo Fighters cap because I dearly love them. I love everything they do and everything Dave Grohl does anyway, so I'm a big fan of the Foos. Yeah, actually saw them play live last year at Rock am Ring, which unfortunately, well, was a show. It was a cool show in general, but Dave was ill and he had a cough and um, yeah, a little cold and he couldn't really go or give 100% unfortunately but other than that that was a great show once again I actually saw them live three times now in total and each concert was really great so awesome Moritz Fischer guten Abend danke auch fürs Einschalten thanks for tuning in um, have you more German subscribers or from the rest of the world uh, the biggest single group of subscribers that I have are from America but I also have quite a lot of German subscribers, which you wouldn't probably think as viewers or I wouldn't have thought in the first place because, you know, I'm having a channel about the German language. Okay, I could see that Germans might want to watch those videos as well and they want to check out what I have to say about our language, our native language, Deutsch. But it's, it's really fascinating that they also watch my videos and sometimes even give me some well, feedback in the sense of suggestions, video, suggesting video topics, video suggestions in general, and that kind of stuff. So that's also very cool. And um, yeah, but the biggest single group would be Americans. And I also have many viewers from Canada, I think, and from, uh, well, what was it actually? Canada, Australia, lately, I think, especially with the Rammstein stuff. Uh, yeah. Rammstein just continues to be in the news in America, see? And, I mean, honestly, you can say about Rammstein whatever you want. You might like them, you might dislike them. But, objectively speaking, 
You can't say anything against their PR, their promotional strategies. Jared Moss, $5 super chat. Thank you very much. That's greatly appreciated. Great videos. Keep up the good work. Really appreciate the translation of the Rammstein songs. I will keep doing that. Don't worry. Uh, there's going to be way more videos in the future coming up. Not only Rammstein videos, of course, because I also want to do other things, but also Rammstein videos. So don't worry. I'm going to continue that, definitely, because I love the guys. I love... See actually, what I just did today, I uh, that was actually something that I wanted to do for quite a long time now, and I today I actually did it. I joined the Rammstein fan club, the official Rammstein fan club, which might allow me to get some tickets before... Well, the public um, can get any Rammstein tickets for concerts and stuff in the future and those kinds of things. We'll see. Would be cool because I would really love to see them live at some point. Vuko, my very good friend, Get Germanized, has seen them live, I think, even twice or so at festivals. And uh, he said that was a really cool show. And um, yeah, I would totally love to see that. On the other hand, it's also quite expensive, so we'll see about that. I mean, uh, the current concerts are sold out anyway, so that would be for the upcoming tour or like additional tour dates in the future. We'll see. Uh, certainly won't do any harm to have joined that fan club. So what did I want to say? Um, Red Masking just subscribed. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for doing so. Highly appreciate it. Um, Rammstein just continues to be in the news in America. Right. Uh, you can say anything about them, whatever you want, positive or negative things, but their PR, their promotional strategies, their marketing strategies are clever, really clever, and they just work out. Like, they, they just work the way they intend to them to work. Uh, with the Deutschland music video, of course, with the Third Reich scenes, which aren't mocking Third Reich victims in any way, shape or form. So making that, that up is total bullshit, I think, and really superficial. And that can only be done by people who want to get some attention through that as well. Just putting that out there real quick. Don't want to be all too political here, but... Uh, that is something that I, I'm really annoyed by when people say, okay, yeah, right-wing band, Rammstein, they are Nazis and they mock the Holocaust victims. And, you know, what the fuck? No. Sorry for swearing, by the way, but sometimes, you know, <laughs> it just annoys me when people are either too dumb or too ignorant or both. I don't know. <laughs> but that's just my opinion. It was hailing in Hessen yesterday. Okay, it was. I mean, I think the day before yesterday, when was it raining? I think the day before yesterday, there was a little thunderstorm going on around here. Um, yeah. Willst du in der Zukunft die deutsche Grammatik mit Rammstein erzählen? Persönlich habe ich sehr, viele dav sehr viel davon gelernt. Ivo, wow, that... Okay, let me try to pronounce your family name. <laughs> Szepanski, 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 Ivo Szepanski, I hope, I probably butchered that, sorry. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna continue making Rammstein videos in the future as well, as I've said, and if it fits, and if the opportunity is there, I'm also gonna explain some grammatical structures. Wizard man subscribed. Thank you for doing so. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Um, and welcome to the channel, of course. Um, I'm, you know, there is nothing that would speak against explaining some grammar stuff in Rammstein videos as well. I mean, of course, I usually explain some words and phrases, but if that really works out, I could very well do that. I actually have done that quite recently um, in the uh, leaked lyrics video to Puppe, because as you might have seen, Rammstein themselves have sort of leaked 
the lyrics to their upcoming song Puppe, Puppet, and I've actually analyzed that, and I think it was in that video. No, it was in the Toto Africa video. I actually analyzed or translated Toto's Africa to German, so I did it the other way around, and I actually explained some grammatical structures there as well. So if you're interested in that, uh, if you want to check out that kind of stuff as well, feel free to do so. Uh, I did that in the uh, Toto Africa video that I just uploaded, I think, yesterday or the day before yesterday. Not too long in the past. Um, <laughs> well, I'm split to Rammstein. There are great musicians, no doubt, but behind the scene, especially Tillemann, is pretty crashy and confusing. Mm, which I think, when he does that, is also part of his stage persona, to some degree, because in interviews, and other contexts, he seems to be a very, well, wouldn't necessarily say shy, but very quiet guy, as opposed to a stage persona, which is the complete contrary, the opposite of that. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know him personally. Um, yeah. Hi from Seattle, Washington, USA. Love your videos, Jared Moss. Uh, oh, that that was you, Jared. <laughs> Okay, um, can't wait for the new album. Hope it's uh, very heavy as Mutter. This one is your favorite album. Okay, keep up the good work. Thanks once again. Just read your comment here. Uh, I'm a bit slow today, I see. And I'm a bit red as well. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, yeah. I've seen the Foo Fighters in concert. They are brilliant. They sure are. Yeah, definitely. Um... Sorry that I'm so slow, but I wanna actually don't wanna miss too many messages. Um, genau, schreib einfach am besten auf Englisch. Um, Mary Carney, I've seen the Foo Fighters in concert. They are brilliant. As I've said, yeah, of course they are, and great life, great life band as well. Sorry. Um, did you bought? Uh, did you buy the newest Subway to sell the album? Hey, and if yes, how is it for you? Do, do I like it? Actually, I haven't really listened to it yet. Um, at first, gotta be honest, I was not the biggest fan of the new stuff. Because it sounded way too modern for Subway to Sally's approach, musical approach. But Aaron Spurlock, thanks for subscribing, or Spurlock. Thanks for doing so. That's greatly appreciated. Um, coming back to Subway to Sally, I have actually, I still have yet have to listen to the new album, and I will do that. And uh, well, for instance, uh, what what is the single called Rex Grecorum something? That actually grew on me. That song. At first, I didn't really like that too much, um, but. In the meantime, it has grown on me, so I will definitely give it a listen. I will definitely uh, give it another shot, and because I love Subway to Sally, so I guess I will also end up liking that album as well, although it might be quite different to what we're used to. Which is your favorite Rammstein song and why? Um, I don't have one favorite Rammstein song, but one of my favorite Rammstein songs is Dalai Lama from Reise Reise. Uh, I love, I, I just love the atmosphere in that song. Um, the whole build up to the chorus, which is sort of enigmatic with the, well, piano line. Do, 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 do. Um, and the whole lyrical concept, although it's, uh, it's not really, well, it wasn't really thought up by Till in the first place because it is, um, Relating to the Erlkönig, the Erlkönig story, I think by Friedrich Schiller. I think he wrote that. But I love the way he actually played with that and made it his own. And just the whole, the whole sound of that, the choir in the background and that kind of stuff. I just love that. So that is one of my favorite Rammstein songs. Um, Haifisch is another one. Keine Lust, definitely. Uh, Reise Reise is my favorite album by them, I'd say, still to this day. Um, yeah. 
Chris Bedicoot writes, Samantha, Klebold, thanks for tuning in. And of course, SpaceX P or Pi or P. Uh, thanks for asking the question and thanks for tuning in as well to you. Um, I would love to see the Foo Fighters live. I would also love to see Rammstein, but uh, like you said, it is expensive. I mean, you know, if I had the money, I would totally say, yeah, you know, just... I'm just gonna see them live. I might do that in the future if the opportunity arrives, um, because um, well, at the moment I'm uh, a trainee, so I don't have that much money uh, to spend for those things. But yeah, Ramstein life is so amazing. Yeah, true. Uh, Ekaterina Natochi, hello from Russia. Nice channel. Thank you very much. And greetings to Russia. Nice to see you here as well. Um, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're doing fine. Uh, here in America, we have open air festivals. There are all metal bands all weekend long. I believe both Ramsch and Foo Fighters have played. That is very well possible. Uh, I actually, a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, um, I saw a poster for like some US American festival and I think the lineup was pretty rad. Can't really remember which bands played there, but I remember that I thought, okay, that lineup is awesome. I think it was also Tool playing there, Foo Fighters. I I'm not too sure, but I, I remember that I thought, okay, that's a great lineup. Let's go, I posted that one first, stop. Uh, and I see Alter Bridge behind you. These are my leaving bands. Have you seen them live? I've seen them four times. Yes, actually, uh, I still have to hang that up on to the wall at some point. I have actually seen them live, I think two or three times. I'm not too sure. Justin Lea, thank you for the donation for the super chat. That's greatly appreciated. Thank you all for your hard work and great content. Very clear and well presentation of the German language. That is one of the biggest compliments you can give me uh, regarding the channel because that is all I'm aiming for, basically. I want to explain the language in a in an entertaining way so that it's not like dry and le boring learning stuff. But on the other hand, I still want to be educational. I want to, well, teach something, I want to explain stuff. And so... If you guys like it that way, that is, you know, that's awesome. That achievement accomplished, so to speak. <laughs> or unlocked <laughs> in that sense. Um, yeah. Uh, 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 um, I think I saw Alter Bridge live two or three times and every single time was awesome. Yes. Just wanted to say a huge thank you once again for taking your time and translating Rammstein's songs into English. And I love the grammar lessons. I love to hear your opinions. Stay awesome, all. Anna Slattery, hi there. I actually recognize you from the comment section because you are an avid comment writer, so to speak, comment poster lately. And I really appreciate that. So thank you very much for doing that and for showing your support and giving me feedback and those things because that really helps and really is motivating and inspirational as well to see that you guys like what I do. Um, and of course, thanks for the compliments. That goes right into my German heart. <laughs> mein deutsches Herz, that is. Yeah. Oh, you said my name. Thank you. I love your Crash theme so much. I have Crash Bandicoot tattoo on my leg. Okay. That's awesome. That is really awesome. It's my biggest tattoo and most colorful. Okay, so my equivalent to that would be having a Spyro tattoo, which I don't have. But if I had to get a tattoo of like a video game character, it would probably be Spyro because I'm a Spyro nerd. I love Spyro. I grew up on Spyro. I, well, when it came out in 1998, the first game in the Spyro series, I was uh, seven years old and you know, Oh, actually, you know, and you can also see them there, of course. No, where, where is it? Uh, no, 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 no. There. Right there. 
there. Actually, I have to get them, uh, get Spyro real quick so that he can join the stream. Wait a moment. Gonna be right back. There he is. Yes. Little buddy. Uh, let me place you right there. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Have you ever been to Wacken? No, I haven't been to Wacken yet, but that would also be another festival that I would like to attend in the future. Why not? Because I love rock and metal music. So yeah, why not? When I was learning German, Rammstein was yet not yet a band. Okay, we listened to Deine Träume from Blaue Engel. Don't know that one, actually. Just gonna type that in. Blaue, deine Träume, deine Träume, blaue Engel. Okay. Haven't heard of that band before at all. Interesting. Is it also an NDH band, like a Neue Deutsche Härte band? Rock, metal kind of stuff? Hmm. Yes, you're right. About what? But I'm uh, about your last name. Uh, that could be, yeah. That's awesome. By the way, just have to get something that I also forgot. Gonna be right back once again. Ah, there's my key. Okay. I was looking for my key with the uh, beverage opener. This one. All right. Hello, Dave, sir. How are you? Fatal Mephisto is asking. Thanks for tuning in, Fatal Mephisto. Great username, <laughs> like that one. Um, that's awesome. Um, I'm doing really well actually, at the moment, actually. Um, I'm happy regarding the channel and how you guys appreciate my... It's humble, funded five euros. Hey man, I really enjoy your content. You should really make some vids on old corny Schlager songs that all German folk listen to. Uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> mm, maybe, maybe not. Not the biggest fan of Schlager, though. But thanks for the compliment, of course, and uh, thanks for the donation. That is greatly appreciated and very helpful. Um, so what do I want to say? Do I want to say... Uh, lost the track there. Um, yeah, I'm doing fine. Uh, I like... Oh, yeah, that, that is what I wanted to say. I really like and love to see you guys appreciating my 
videos. Not only my Rammstein videos, but primarily those as well, because they are among my most successful videos, um, not just lately, but in general. And I really love that. For instance, the uh, Deutschland reaction video that I did is now at, I think, 270,000 views, which is insane, which is just insane. It's, um, that is, is really leaving me speechless because I'm not used to that. Certainly am not. Um, and I appreciate that. That is awesome. Um, what are your opinions about Richard Kruspe's emigrate into Linnemann's Linnemann bands or what I should call it? Which language is your favorite language? Just of how it, uh, how it sounds. Pooh, um, I like Emigrate and I also like Lindemann, although I haven't really listened to either of them very much yet. Uh, I know that Emigrate also released another new album, I think quite recently as well. Um, and I saw that he actually made a song with the uh, Billy Talent singer. So I will definitely give that a listen. And the last thing from Lindemann that I've listened to was the Mathematik video, the highly divisive Mathematik video. Uh, mathematics, that is, in English, the Mathematik, with a German rapper. <laughs> and just in general, a quite hip-hop-like song by Till Lindemann, which, I mean, at first I thought, okay, okay what do I have to think about that? <laughs> Am I supposed to like that? <laughs> um, but since I'm open-minded musically as well for many things, not for everything, but for many things, I actually kept listening to that because there was something about that that I still enjoyed. And these days I actually like the song, although that's nothing that I would listen to on a regular basis. And of course, if I had the chance, if I had to choose between uh, Rammstein and Lindemann, I would totally go for Rammstein, obviously, so yeah. And the second question was, which language is your favorite language? Um, actually, that depends. Of course, Deutsch is one of my favorite languages because it's my native language. And I also love English, um, especially when it comes, ironically, especially when it comes to songs. For the most part, I prefer English lyrics. But if they are well done and quite lyrical or poetic, which is the case for Rammstein lyrics, for instance, I love that too. When it's well done, it's awesome. But since it's my native language, songs that I listen to in German can sound quite cheesy very, very fast. And I don't like cheesy sounding songs. And that isn't the case with English lyrics, even though they might also be cheesy in English, but as a German, from a German, from a foreign perspective, I would still prefer those cheesy songs over German cheesy songs, if that makes sense. So, interesting question. Or questions. Um, let's see. Uh, hello from Iran. Zeper Zima. Thanks for tuning in. Really like your Rammstein videos. Hope to see more in the near future. Can't speak anymore. You should visit Iran someday. Well, who knows? Maybe someday, of course. Um, and don't worry, there will be more Rammstein-related videos in the future as well. And probably also in the near future, near-ish future. We'll see about that. I actually just read today that Rammstein filmed, I think, five music videos in total for the new album, which as of now, really seems to be called Rammstein. It really seems to be a self-titled album. I think that's now official, as far as I know. And of course, I'm also gonna do videos about the uh, remaining three singles, the upcoming three singles, and even more. Uh, also about older songs and translating them, analyzing them, and that kind of stuff. I'm also gonna do that. Definitely, because that's fun. I think you like The Legend of Zelda as well, if I remember right. That is true, I actually have a Zelda cap as well. 
which is a bit dirty and that's why I haven't really uh, worn it too often uh, recently but um, I well basically just need to clean it so I can wear it again uh, oh so cute I love your Spyro oh what where is Spyro oh no there he is I just uh, looked at well <laughs> A post my post stream on the other screen here right right here um, and Spyro wasn't there yet so I was wondering where did he go <laughs> what did he do um, that was too adorable yeah how old are you I'm turning 28 in July I'm gonna turn 28 in July born in 1991 great year to be born um, but -ba 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 bum. Oh, such adorable dragon. Yes, he is. You have definitely helped me want to learn more German. I know very little. Well, keep learning, of course. Um, although it might be tough at times and difficult, um, it will pay off in the end if you keep learning. And also keep learning fun. That is very important. Always keep learning fun. If you feel like you're forced to learn something or you have to force yourself to learn German that is not the right way to do it so that is very important I keep coming back because of your teaching style which is fun um, yeah and informative that is exactly the mixture I wanna or I'm striving for so to speak the empty set hi there how are you doing I'm trying to get into the ads to any songs you'd recommend Ooh, a lot of them. Um, one of my favorite D. Edsel songs is Junge from 2007. Uh, another one is Deine Schuld from 2003. But if you want to listen to their latest new song, the first one in, I think, seven years, uh, you should listen to, what? It, what is it called? Um, What's the name of the song again? Abschied. It's called Abschied. Die Ärzte Abschied. I'm gonna type that into the chat and you can copy paste that to YouTube. Um, also, don't wonder, there are two videos for that. One vegetarian one and one not non-vegetarian one. And that's typically Die Ärzte because they also approach making music or making uh, music videos with a fun approach, so to speak, they an entertaining approach. Uh, it's the Ärzte. The Ärzte Abschied. That's the name of the song. I think for an upcoming album, they haven't given us any more information on, well, that stuff. Super Flash Crash. Hi, <laughs> Derek. Yeah, my good buddy. From Berlin, Super Flash Crash. You might have seen him in one, well, another one of my latest videos, actually, the Berlin vlog, where I attended, or where we attended, actually, the uh, Article 13 anti protest march. There. <laughs> um, and I visited him as well. He's a native Berlin guy and a very likable one as well. Uh, so. Yeah. You deserve all your... Oh no, you des I really enjoy your reviews. Summerstorm, thank you very much and thanks for tuning in. Thanks for telling me, that is greatly appreciated. I always appreciate that, like feedback like that. Um, Jade says, you deserve all those views and more. Aw, that is very kind to say, thank you very much. Do you know why Till bangs his hands on his knees? Uh, Sid Switch is asking. Hi there, and thanks for tuning in to you as well. I actually know that. Uh, I've, actually, I've just learned about that, I think, a couple of weeks ago when I watched um, pretty much all the making offs for their music videos. And I think in one of them, he actually said something like, okay, back then he had well, some trouble with his knee uh, in, the, in the early days of Rammstein, that is. And sometimes where, well, when he was very active on stage and when they played live, uh, his knee would bend out, I think, or like jump out of its form. If I can't really explain that too well in English, to be honest, like the medical 
thing going on with your knee and where it's placed uh, in the foot and stuff like that but um yeah in the leg that is and he tried to get that back into its place where it belongs and i think it was paul who actually said something like okay david kuning just subscribed thank you very much for doing that david and welcome to the vlog dave team so to speak um and i think paul actually said to till okay that looks pretty cool just keep doing that for live shows and stuff and so till kept doing that and i personally think it looks badass and it's really unique if i were to name one posture of till like a typical posture of till at live shows it would be that the banging on the knee so to speak hitting the knee um yeah <laughs> really cool um mm -mm -mm -mm. I mean, could you make some videos about German word order? Um, I might do that, although I can't or I won't promise anything regarding that because to be quite honest, I have done quite a couple of um, grammar videos in the past also regarding word order. So maybe there is some for you as well that you might enjoy and that might answer your questions. Um, just Google Vlog Dave word order or just type that in in YouTube and you might find a couple of videos about my more grammar related things that I've talked about regarding the German language and how it works. But to be quite honest, sit, w sit, switch, <laughs> just subscribe. Wow, that is a, a tongue twister. Sit, 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 switch, just subscribe. Sit, switch, just, just subscribe. Sit, switch, 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 switch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, mm. But to be honest, um, I don't really want to focus too much on pure language educational videos. Well, too much anymore. I actually want to combine that with, for instance, music. And I want to talk about that kind of stuff and teach things in one video. So that is what I'm going for mainly at the moment. Of course, that is also subject to change that could change in the future. But right now, I think uh, that is what is the most fun for me personally. So and to me, it's very important that I, as the video creator, so to speak, also enjoy what I'm doing. If I don't enjoy what I do, like the types of video that I'm doing and what I'm talking about, if that isn't fun for me personally anymore, uh, that would be quite bad. So, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm actually just going to do what I want to do. And also, of course, help you guys with that kind of stuff. So that is my, well, intention when it comes to making videos and my plan when it comes to make making videos in 2019 these days who drew the logo for the channel um that was actually me i mean the uh, my head you mean um that avatar was drawn by a well youtube acquaintance so to speak uh that i got to know through vuko get germanized back in the day um and I just loved that and kept that and used that for my thumbs, uh, like thumbnails and banners and other things. And with her agreeing um, that I would be able to use that, of course. So, uh, yeah, I just like that. It looks really cool. Um, it's nice to get the translation of Rammstein from you. Yeah. You're welcome. I really love to do that. Uh, Seda Gunce says, Hello from Turkey. Hi to Turkey. Greetings from Germany and thanks for tuning in. I love your Rammstein translation videos and also your video about the Autobahn was highly appreciated. Well, yeah, I also enjoyed doing that for sure. Um, in addition, I love Germany facts you give during any video history, geography, 
the language, social, etc. And there's, yeah, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to Germany and the German way of life. I think I even have a playlist that is called Life in Germany, where I specifically talk about more cultural aspects. For instance, I remember a video that I made about um, Germany's national holiday, uh, the day of the German unity, German unification, so to speak, which is October the 3rd. Uh, so yeah, those kinds of things. Also very interesting as well. Uh, -ba 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 -bum. Oops. John, thank you very much for the donation for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much for your support. Um, and there it is. YouTube was quicker, actually. The, <laughs> the chat was quicker, quicker. I can't speak anymore today. That is strange. That is really strange. Um, yeah. So where was I? The best band of Welt. Yeah, the best band in the world. That is what the ads actually refer to themselves. Uh, like they say, we are the best band in the world. Of course, they they don't mean that in real life, in reality, but they joke about that themselves. The videos are vegetarian and uh, vegan version. Yeah, <laughs> true. I really like when um, I really like when you in German put the second verb in the end of the sentence. Mm -hmm. It sounds very poetic. Po, wow, my tongue. What is it doing? <laughs> it sounds very poetic. What do you think about that uh, compared to English? It's just. A, I mean, it's a different approach. Surely it is. Um, and I like both. I like both structures, but you have to get used to the differences regarding sentence structure, syntax, and syntactical syntactical figures, and um, what's the difference between those in the respective language, of course. So yeah, I'm really red, right? Wow, <laughs> don't know why. Your cam is delayed a bit. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can fix that. Don't know why that is. Can I fix that? Oh, I think it's my sound that's actually delayed. Oh, let me make a screenshot of the settings. Because I think those are my settings for um, my gaming live streams, which I should keep them. Just gonna save that screenshot real quick. Uh, OBS settings, gaming. Okay, so now I can change them. Uh, to zero. Zero. Okay. I don't know if it actually did something now. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Mm hmm. Deactivate, activate. Hmm. I don't know. Um, and Paul uh, is the one who has said that actually. Thanks for telling me, by the way, Paul. And thanks for tuning in. And uh, apart from that, I'm doing very well. I'm doing fine. Yes. I came across you things to get Germanized. Have you any plans to do a stream together? Uh, of, I mean, there will definitely be streams together in the future it's just that we didn't have that much time to meet for instance this year funny enough i actually met him just once until now so actually the last time i met him was 
uh, in late January. Eduardo Barbosa just subscribed. Thank you very much. Eduardo, and thanks. Uh, well, welcome to the team, so to speak. Um, yeah, we will definitely have more live streams together in the future and more videos as well. It's just that we have to find the right timing to meet and to film stuff. Because sometimes we meet, we want to meet, and then we don't want to film stuff. And we just want to hang out together, you know, without filming something necessarily. And sometimes we have clear ideas for videos that we want to film. And then we will try to make it work or have a live stream together, for instance. And I actually invited Vuku to this live stream as well, but he is out and about this weekend. So unfortunately he doesn't have the time. Otherwise he would have loved to join the stream. So um, yeah, but I'm pretty certain, pretty sure that uh, there will be more videos and live streams to come in the future because why not? You know, we both want to do that because that's always fun to do videos together and stuff, so yeah. I'm from Indiana and just found your channel. John Benton, hi there. And greetings to Indiana from Germany. I really I just found your channel, awesome content. Also, please help me. There's a very attractive German foreign exchange student at my high school and I want you <laughs> I want to get her number. <laughs> um hmm. Well <laughs> tricky question. Um If she wears anything that looks remotely like Rammstein merch, for instance, you could approach her with uh, or by talking about Rammstein or just Ask her about Rammstein and if she's into music in general, ask her about Die Ärzte, Rammstein, Die Toten Hosen, bands she likes and if you know something about Rammstein for instance and she likes Rammstein, that is a good connecting topic to talk about. So that would be an initial idea that I have. Mm -hmm. Music is a universal language, it really is, and uh, I love that. I love that about music, that, you know, no matter which language you speak, it just... music crosses borders and it doesn't stop when there are fences and obstacles in the way, and I love that. Music combines people. Combines? Connects. <laughs> combines. <laughs> Combining people sounds like uh, this... Um, <laughs> Centipede movie, the human centipede. Music combines people. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Difficult statement to make <laughs> in that sense. And you're welcome, Ekaterina. By the way, I really like your photography on Instagram. Is it one of your hobbies? Uh, Jade is asking. Um, yes, it actually is one of my hobbies. As you can see here right now, it's instagram.com slash Dave underscore Durden. That's my Instagram handle and also my Twitter handle. Um, so if you want to check out my photography photos, I'm taking snapshots. I'm taking when I'm out and about and things that I just simply spot. And when I think, okay, they are interesting, they look cool. I want to take a photo of them and uh, tell something about them and what that might translate to in German, for instance, as well. Um, yeah, I actually really enjoy doing that and I'm a big fan of taking photos and I would definitely say it's one of my hobbies, yeah. Out of all the Rammstein songs, which one do you not like too much? Mine is Rein Raus. Um, hmm. When it comes to the last, the previous Rammstein album, Liebe ist für alle da, I think the last, if I'm not mistaken, two or three songs, I haven't really connected to all that well yet. I don't know why. Uh, an exception would be Mehr. Mehr is a really cool song, I like that. I think that's one of the last songs on that record as well. Um, apart from that, I think Pussy. 
I mean, it's not a bad song, and I sort of like it as well, but I wouldn't say, well, that's a great song that is like one of Rammstein's best tunes, Pussy, because I love the verses. I'm not the biggest fan of the chorus in that song, to be honest, although it's also quite catchy. Gotta admit that. I took a German language course last summer and my teacher said that Hannover is the most boring city in the country. <laughs> is that true? I might want to study there in the future. Eric Solom is asking, Chris Lewis just subscribed. Thank you very much. Ooh, so many things going on right here. And my, um, where is it? My jar is filling rapidly. Thank you very much for doing that. Uh, a full jar is better than an empty jar said some wise man someday in, anyway you know um eric solemn um hanover i've only been there once to be honest and that was in 2000 at the expo a european um well vernissage so to speak if you want to call it like that um so i don't know i can't really tell too much about that so i'm not so sure i from what i know is that the kind of german people speak there in hannover that is like a very standard high german approach without a strong dialect but other than that i don't really know too much about the city so i can't really answer that question unfortunately sorry um yeah kasia kasia k weiter so she says keep going basically that means thank you very much for saying that and i will i will Thanks for tuning in. What kind of beer are you drinking? Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty dude. Uh, thanks for tuning in in the first place. And of course, well, I'm drinking. Um, this is called a Radla. It's not pure beer in the literal sense of the word. It is beer flavored with um, some lemon taste, a little bit of lemon taste, which I like. I like that mixture. And this one is um, Krombacher Radler. Although I don't want to advertise this, so this is not meant as an advertisement and I'm, I don't get paid for saying that. Um, and there are other beers that I also like quite a lot. For instance, Feltin's beers um, or what else is there? Um, Pots, for instance, is another great brand, I'd say. So yeah, I like that. Um, Good morning, vlog Dave. Wie geht's dir heute? Bitte auf Deutsch. Mr. Spock 89 asks. Okay, so then I'm gonna answer that in German and maybe you guys will be able to understand what I say. Okay. Mir geht's tatsächlich sehr gut. Ich freue mich sehr, dass die Rammstein Videos so gut geguckt werden und so viel Begeisterung finden und dass die Leute so viel Spaß daran haben, die Videos zu schauen. Und auch sonst muss ich sagen, geht es mir wirklich gut. Also ich hatte jetzt Urlaub diese Woche und nächste Woche muss ich wieder arbeiten. Aber ja, ist einfach schön. Ich, momentan bin ich sehr glücklich, muss ich sagen. Und ich freue mich schon auf Dinge, die da noch kommen werden. Zum Beispiel Rock am Ring im Juni und solche Sachen. Das wird cool. Auf jeden Fall. Enough German for now. Ähm... <lacht> um, What have you studied or worked with? Do you work with anything else except for your amazing YouTube channel? Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing this for a living. Of course, I wouldn't mind. But I actually studied the German language at university. Uh, I studied German studies, so to speak. But then I um, finished those studies prematurely because I wanted to, well, arrange things a bit differently for me personally, job-wise. And... Uh, Last August, I actually began a traineeship as an e-commerce salesman or sales manager. Um, well, I think the, the proper, 
proper English title is e-commerce management assistant um, which is awesome because I'm actually handling online shops uh, I'm handling art new article article pages article descriptions I'm gonna write those I'm gonna do a lot of SEO work like search engine optimization I'm also writing text for that and since I love to work with languages whether it's German or English that is awesome because I can write texts um, I can do things online which I also love I can work with a PC uh, my colleagues are really friendly, so I can't say anything bad about that. Uh, yeah, that is what I do, actually, for a living. And in addition to that, I also earn a little bit with YouTube. But this is not the majority of what I earn. And just in general, because I'm a trainee at the moment, I don't earn as much. But um, yeah still happy with what I do of course um, but once again in the future um, when I'm done with my um, traineeship and whatever will happen then who knows it would be of course it would be cool to do this for a living at that point but uh, yeah maybe it might work out might not work out who knows who is there to know? Um, guten Abend, uh, mich würde wirklich sehr interessieren, wo du so gut fließend und frei Englisch gelernt hast, uh, Kasia asks. She, she basically is asking where I learned to speak English so fluently and quite well. Um, I mean, I learned the basics of English in the fifth grade, back when I was in fifth grade, I think that was around 2000 and to 2003 like the real basics not any advanced stuff but the basics of English like the grammatical stuff and uh, these days that's completely different in Germany by the way these days you really start learning English in kindergarten even or in the first grade when you go to school but back when I went to school I was born in 1991 and I um, attended elementary school in 1998 first grade we didn't learn English back then at all. We just it all just began for each and every one of us in the fifth grade back then. But these days that's completely different and I think it's very good that it's different because you can't start learning English early enough or too early because it's a very important language for your life for the rest of your life pretty much and there are so many things that are dealt with or expressed in English uh, on an international level and also living in a globalized world that's very important in general just putting that out there but um, then I improved my English uh, while well, during school basically I wrote my A levels in 2011 I think it was eight years ago uh, I had my A levels um, and I really, 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 really improved my spoken English a whole lot through YouTube. Honestly, through doing these YouTube videos to making these videos for you guys. Because when you listen to me speaking English in 2015, when I started this channel, by the way, uh, I just cele celebrated uh, the channel's fourth birthday because I started this channel on April the 3rd in 2015, four years ago. Um, back then, and also I think up until 2016 and 2017-ish, my spoken English wasn't very, well, American sounding, let me put it this way. It was quite well up to that point as well like already but the or how should I put it the fluent way of speaking English and that kind of stuff not having to think about too many words when I speak English just speaking and not having to think about too many things while doing so that actually came about uh, I think during 2017 uh, like later half of that year somehow 
and then uh, from 2018 onwards and that kind of stuff. So I definitely improved a whole lot um, by just making these videos for you guys. And of course, also surrounding myself a lot with, well, English things, English video games or video games in English as opposed to in German. Uh, for instance, I'm watching Game of Thrones in English and not in German, those kinds of things. I'm listening to a lot of English lyrics, English music, English songs, American bands. And, you know, those kinds of things. All that helps. And definitely speaking English on a daily basis, because I pretty much do that on a daily basis. Um, also because of YouTube and um, also because of like out of answering or replying to your comments on YouTube, for instance, because most of them are in English. And of course, I also reply in English. And um, that way there is not a single day, I, I don't think, uh, on which I'm like not speaking English at all these days. And I like that. And that way I really managed to improve my English quite a lot in recent years and months. Yeah. And the same is possible, I think, although it might be a harder language to learn and a hard language in general, a difficult language that is, uh, the, the same, I think, is true for German. If you surround yourself a lot with German media, uh, be it music, German music, German lyrics, for instance, Rammstein, many people are learning German with Rammstein, which is really cool, really great, I think. Um, well, shows in German, first watching them with subtitles, and when you actually notice, okay, now I understand most of the things they say without having to read the subtitles while they speak, then you can actually drop the subtitles and just watch what you understand. And it doesn't matter if you understand every single word they say, for instance, in a TV show, uh, as long as you understand the majority of what they say and the context, getting the context is really important as well. As long as you are able of doing that, that is a great thing, you know, that really helps a lot, I think. Um, have you ever been to America? If so, do you like it? And what is your favorite Rammstein video? Mine is Du riechst so gut 95. Okay. That is a very weird choice, um, especially compared to the 98 version, which is awesome and definitely among my favorite Rammstein videos, which is the Du riechst so gut 98 version is the one with the wolves and Du riechst so gut the 95, the original video for that song is the one with the guys being naked and interesting video. Um, <laughs> uh, I've never been to the USA yet, although I would really love to go to the uh, to the USA. I actually have a, uh, what do you call that in English, a standing invitation by an American friend of mine, Crystal, Crystal Wings. She's living in San Diego and she invited both Vuko, get Germanized, and me over to her to visit her there at any time. So uh, that is a steady invitation that I have, and I would really love to pursue that in the future. But at the moment, that is not possible out of, well, time restraints. And since I'm in a traineeship, I'm a trainee at the moment, uh, I don't really have too much time for doing that. And I, as I've said before, I don't really have the money to um, go on vacation at all in the, at the moment. But that's okay. Um, I mean, I hope I will be able to go on vacation in the future because I've never really done that yet in my life, apart from a few little vacations, not into other countries necessarily, but uh, in Germany, for instance. And I've been to France with my school class back in the day, uh, right before the A-levels, the last vacation we went on as a class, pretty much, which was awesome. Um, and... I would love, I would love to come to the US, honestly. I'm, I've am i always liked the USA for some reason, uh, for, well, for many reasons, also because of music, because I'm a music nerd 
to me it's all about music and movies for instance and also tv shows and video games <laughs> and many of those things many of the good things of those well music related things and stuff like that that's from the usa many cool bands uh, coming from there and just in general from what i've heard uh, people are quite friendly there and i just want I, I just would love to go to there and of course i would also love to meet many of you guys there if that's possible and to have a meet and greet and hang out with you guys because that is definitely also something that i would try to um pursue and to do once i'm gonna be in the us to have a little meet and greet with you guys because as although i have i've had a meet and greet with vuko here in cologne in germany i think in 2016 or 2017 back then um which was cool and there were people from spain from japan joining us which was you know really insane in a positive way because i wouldn't have imagined that in the first place uh and beforehand that was really cool and i also met a russian viewer of mine at a train station in bielefeld once um in the winter and we actually talked she uh, was on vacation in germany and she recognized me um so or noticed me uh, at the train station and then she just approached me and we had a chat and that was really cool as well so yeah um <clears throat> so let me scroll real quick uh, my favorite rammstein video um i mean from a creative point of view and just from the effort that went into that, I think Deutschland is definitely among my favorite Rammstein videos by far. Just the effort they put into that is ridiculous in a positive way once again. Uh, another video that I really like is Haifisch, uh, Keine Lust. Um, and the Du Hast video is also very cool. Also Engel, I mean, I actually like all of them. I like all those videos. The Sonne video is really cool with Snow White. White, Snow, Snow White, Snow White. That is really cool. I like, I pretty much like all of them. Maybe except for Du Hast, uh, no, not Du Hast, um, Du Riechst So Gut 95. Sit switch, sorry. Icebrecher, yes, I know them. I have seen them li live last year at uh, the Meraluna Festival. Uh, awesome concert, awesome gig. Radio was just released. Which song do you think is gonna be released next? I personally think it's gonna be Zeig Dich. So show yourself or reveal yourself. Because as far as I know, they actually shot a video about that, or for that, but I'm not too sure. Might be another one, but I think it's gonna be Zeitlich. Um, Luis Barraza Lares. Hope I didn't butcher that. Um, thanks for tuning in. And you have a very likable avatar, if I may say so. Profile pic, smiling, and uh, it looks very likable. Um, awesome channel you have. I'm really learning a lot from here. I'm curious, are there any other foreign languages you'd like to learn and or countries you wanna visit? Um, right now I don't have any intention to learn other languages because I don't have any practical use of doing so. I mean, I could do that out of curiosity because I s certainly like languages in general, but if I don't have any, well, reason to learn another language other than, well, improving English and that kind of stuff. Uh, I probably won't do that also because I don't have the time, honestly, because making YouTube videos, although sometimes it might not seem that way, uh, making YouTube videos also takes quite a lot of time. Uh, cutting everything, recording everything, uh, that takes away quite a lot of time. And also, as I've said, I'm a trainee, so I'm working 
uh, until late in the afternoon uh, during the week so um, but there are a lot of countries um, which I would like to visit at some point also countries you would not think of um, at first for instance the Ukraine I would like to visit the Ukraine and well especially Chernobyl because I'm really fascinated by that place, that location. I would really like to go there at some point. Chernobyl, that would be, or Pripyat for that sake. Um, that would re be really interesting. Australia would be really interesting. Japan, definitely Asia, like China, for instance. But also Russia, uh, Spain, uh, New Zealand, Canada, the USA, of course. Many countries, actually. Italy, Spain. Yeah, a lot of them. All countries I haven't really been to yet. Uh, happy late anniversary, Jen Langiel Leng says. Thank you very much, Jen, for doing that, or for saying that in that sense. Daniel Bushnell. Hallo zusammen. Hi there, or Bushnell. Um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. How are you doing, Daniel? Mm. Filip Kracinovic um, asks, Hello, have you ever been to Prague? No. I have been to the Czech Republic for one afternoon, <laughs> but it was um, pretty much close behind the border of to Germany uh, in a little um, town there. Santiago Jimenez just subscribed. Thank you very much. Charles Westphal has just subscribed. Thank you very much as well. And the glass, the jar is filling up. Great to see. <laughs> um, and there yeah, that is. <laughs> um, yeah. But of course I would also like to go to Prague. Because I've heard it's a beautiful city, actually. Do you have a favorite video game? Um, definitely... That one. That one is awesome. Sparrow the Dragon. Definitely one of my favorite video games of all times. Um, I really like stealth games, like the Thief series, for instance. I love the Thief series. Uh, Dishonored, those kinds of games I really like. I like action adventures, uh, third person action adventures. Uh, Tomb Raider, I really like them, both the old and the new games. Um, I also like point and click adventures, like uh, most of them, for instance, Broken Sword. Uh, that is a really, really good game, really good game series in general. Um, I really like many PlayStation 1 games, many older games as well, because I grew up on playing the PlayStation 1. Uh, Crash Bandicoot, Medieval is awesome, uh, Disney's Hercules, as I've said, Spyro, Hogs of War, Frontschweine, that is in German, great game, very fun. So I'm not just all about, you know, new games, although I also like new games, but I also like to play older games every now and then as well, which is also cool. Um, oh, you have a standing invitation to Texas, Dan Breaker says. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will keep that in mind. Hello from Estonia, Zaskia Ormak says. How are you? I've been doing, well, really great lately. Thanks for asking. How are you doing? Have you been to Estonia? No, not yet. I really enjoy your videos. Thank you very much. Thanks to you, I started learning Deutsch. Wow. Okay, that is an honor. That is a compliment. A big, huge compliment to say that. That is awesome. How did I inspire you, I wonder? Like, was there a specific video that you enjoyed and that made you go like, okay, now I want to learn German? Uh, if so, feel free to tell me because I'm always interested in that. And also, um, to everyone else watching this, and also if you're a new viewer on this channel, I, w I would really like to know how did you find my channel? When did you find my channel? What was the first video that you watched on my channel? And what do you like about my videos or dislike about my videos for that matter? Um, 
if you want to share that if you want to if you can remember that um, and if you want to share that feel free to do so hmm Zanzella music nice um, <laughs> America is sehr teuer. America is very expensive and pricey. Ah, that might be the case, yeah. But I would really like to go there, though. Someone on YouTube, great username. <laughs> what is your view on the world and the universe? Okay. Do you believe in the soul? What do you think the I is? Sorry for a philosophical question. Uh, I can't really answer that in this live stream. I'm sorry, because that would take way too long. That would take a whole nother live stream just about those questions. Very interesting questions because I love philosophy. I've actually studied philosophy next to German at university as well, but uh, there are no concrete answers to those questions. Um, When it comes to the world and the universe, um, I think we as human beings shouldn't put ourselves on such a high pedestal as we used to or like to do at times. Um, as if we're like the kings of the universe and reign above animals and all other creatures and we're better just because we're more advanced. Um, I actually struggle with that a bit when people say that, to be honest, because I think, you know, there are some things that human beings can do very well and that, for instance, fish couldn't do, but there are other things that fish do really, really well, way better than we could ever do as human beings and vice versa, you know? And that also counts for, for instance, cats. They uh, might be able to smell way better than we do. They have better senses like that um, and those kinds of things. So it's all a question of uh, comparison and also being fair in your comparisons. And that's why I don't really like when people say, oh, well, we're above things. We're superior in that sense, you know. Do you believe in the soul? Yes, I do. I do. Uh, what do you think the I is? That is a very interesting question and once again one that I could or people could talk about for years and years. I personally think also from a social psychological point of view that the I isn't an entity. Like there's not one self, one I necessarily, but the I and how you perceive yourself as a person uh, is a combination of many different perspectives. It's your your inner perspective about yourself, it's the perspective of people and how they approach you, how they interact with you. Um, it's memories, it's experiences, and of course the eye is not a steady figure, like a steady thing that doesn't change. It uh, is also subject to change, most certainly. Um, so yeah, interesting question, questions. Have you been to England? I may be going to Berlin later on in the year. Uh, no, I haven't been to England yet, unfortunately, but I would really like to go there as well. Um, I like Du Riechst so Gut 95 because it was my first Rammstein video I've seen. I was four. Okay, okay, then you're excused. That is, that is fine with me then under those circumstances, uh, that is okay. But even like as a four year old, I think I would have questioned that video nonetheless. Like, why are they naked? Why is that? And that kind of stuff. Um, have you any pets? Uh, at the moment, I don't uh, have any pets. Um, my family has three cats and of course, because you know, <laughs> I'm part of the family. They are also my cats in a way. But once again, I don't want to call them my cats because they have a mind of their own in a way, their own creatures, you know, uh, in their own right. But they live uh, here. 
uh, but right here in my flat I don't have any pets at the moment although I would really love to have a cat or two in the future and I think well, I think I probably will have a cat in the future as well or two um, I'm very much a cat person to be honest uh, Was du in Dubrovnik? No, but a friend of mine was there I think last year and she actually took a look at um, the Game of Thrones well locations where they shot like the castle scenes and stuff like that a few of those and she said it's really beautiful in Dubrovnik in Croatia Spyro yes thumbs up well like that thumbs up for Spyro <laughs> have you played the Witcher games no sadly not yet unfortunately not because uh, I would really like to do that at well some point in the future uh, and those are on my list definitely because I've only heard great things about those games also about uh, Uncharted which I want to come to uh, I think in this year as well I've only heard positive things about those games and from what I can tell I should love those games B because I love Tomb Raider Indiana Jones those kinds of things so I should definitely love and appreciate Uncharted as well um, what places do you recommend uh, I visit in Germany? H. Chang asks, and thanks for tuning in. Um, boo. Uh, Berlin is definitely worth a visit. Um, Bremen is quite cool, also because of uh, certain uh, districts there, for instance the Schnorr, with many old houses and uh, with an interesting architecture. Cologne. The whole Ruhrgebiet area, the Ruhr area in North Rhine-Westphalia is very interesting. Dortmund, Köln, uh, with the Cologne Dome, of course, that is really cool to check out. Those kinds of things, pretty much. And also where I live, the Sauerland region, which is really a very green region. It's close to the Ruhr area, to the Ruhrgebiet, and we, like, some parts of the Sauerland are pretty much, they also belong to the Ruhrgebiet in a way like uh, when it comes to how people are and how they speak and you know how they act and what they are like so i can highly recommend coming to the sauerland as well many people love to go here uh, because they love to go hiking for instance because we have a lot of woods around us we're pretty much surrounded by many different woods here uh, which is really cool cool nature here um, some castles as well really cool um, hello aus den Niederlanden Mochi Kuichi <laughs> interesting name <laughs> thanks for tuning in and uh, since you're from the Netherlands I might be able to speak German and you might be able to understand me right but I'm not gonna do that don't worry recently got into Rammstein and found your Rammstein videos I really enjoy them keep up the good work thanks to well, thank you very much for saying that. It is um, that is greatly appreciated and really motivating. So um, really, really appreciate and enjoy when you guys tell me that you like my stuff. Of course I do. Um, so thumbs up for you. And greetings to the Netherlands from Germany, of course, from your neighbors. <laughs> do you think Rammstein should make a Japanese song? And sorry for all the Rammstein questions. No, uh, that's no problem at all. Keep asking Rammstein questions. Uh, I don't mind at all because I like them, of course. Um, yeah, I mean, they have done a Spanish song, Te Quiero Puta. Um, so it would be interesting to make a Rammstein, like a Japanese Rammstein song. Definitely, why not? Uh... Can you explain what it means by zusammen better, please? By zusammen better. I mean, zusammen means together. Don't really know what you mean by the question, though. By zusammen better. Uh, Can you explain the lyrics and the meaning of Los by Rammstein? Um, I could definitely do that in a future video, yeah, because that's also a great song by them. And actually one of the sound snippets from the upcoming album they have uploaded on their YouTube channel reminded me of Los. 
I don't know which one it was actually, but the rhythm and the groove, like the grooviness of that reminded me of Los. And I might very well make a video about that song in the future as well. We'll see. Hmm. So um, I think 18 more minutes to go until 11 p.m. in Germany. And then I'm gonna end the stream for today. But don't worry, um, I'm gonna have more live streams in the future as well. Um, but we have 18 minutes left, so let's keep talking. Why not? Because I'm also quite hungry, actually. <laughs> Need to eat something. Um, haven't really eaten for dinner yet, so... Um, your thoughts seemed very interesting when you said you have studied philosophy. It would be interesting if you make a video about that, but only if you want to, of course. Um, I might do, do that at some point, who knows? Nothing planned at the moment regarding that, but uh, I might do that. We'll see. I really like Rammstein. I started listening to Rammstein last year. I like the German language. I always wanted to learn it. Then I saw your Du Hast video. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm, interesting. I like your teaching style. There it all started. You know, that just made my day. Like, something like that really makes my day, honestly, because that is... It's really cool to see when your work pays off, in a way. And your approach to teaching German and to talking about the German language really pays off. Um, you know, I actually thought about that also recently. Um, and I, as weird as that may sound at first, I don't want to be seen, be seen as, well, primarily a German language teacher on YouTube. Of course, that is like something that I do in my videos. I teach some German, I talk about some German, but I, I'm not, I don't want to be like primarily the German language teacher. I rather see myself as a mixture, a hybrid of being an entertainer um, and someone who teaches something, an educational person, so to, so to speak. Um, because if I say, you know, I'm a German language teacher, people could get the impression that I'm mostly doing grammar related videos or vocabulary related videos. And that is not what I'm doing primarily, because as you might have seen, I'm making videos that are related to the German language and where I can actually explain something in a fun and entertaining way. But I don't want to make language lessons on YouTube necessarily, like pure language lessons uh, that much anymore. So, yeah. Ah, you always say hallo zusammen. So I was a bit confused. Yeah, that actually translates to something like hello everyone, hello together. I like, I mean, that is the literal translation. Hallo zusammen, hello together. And that implies hello every one of you together as my viewers, so to speak. That's pretty much a more or less common German way of approaching many people and greeting many people all at once. Hallo zusammen, in a colloquial way, that is informally. Mm. Oh, my eyes, I'm getting old. Mm, what in the Rammstein band makes you like them? What is your favorite sentence in all of the Rammstein songs? Mine is the refrain of Haifisch. Phew. Also a very good question. Um, let me think about that real quick. Hmm. I mean... I don't have one single favorite phrase or verse or line that I have in Rammstein songs, at least none that I could think of right now. Um, I mean, for f like fun reasons or for fun's sake, um, something like Stecke Bratwurst in dein Sauerkraut from Pussy 
that is hilarious. <laughs> of course, that is hilarious. But then again, there are also highly, um, well, I think creative lines, for instance, in the new song Radio, actually, um, I think it goes, um, what was the line? Um, Meine Augen werden Ohren, my ears become eyes. I really love that line. You know, that was really cool. Um, stuff like that. And what do I like about Rammstein? Well, I like the the mixture of melody and heaviness in their songs. The uh, unique approach to pronounce things in German. Which, by the way, I've actually made a whole video about why Till Lindemann uses the rolled R in the Rammstein songs. Um, and uh, I just like the like the lyrics that seem very simple at first glance, but they are very ambiguous most of the time and very sophisticated when you think about them and analyze them really uh, linguistically. I just love that. I'm a sucker for that. And of course the riffs, the guitar riffs and the melodies, you know, the whole aesthetics they have and the approach to making music, uh, to making German music for an international audience. Um, I really admire that and I really like that. Have you heard of the band Trivium? Yes, I have. I uh, quite like them actually. I'm not too familiar with their albums, although I think I have one album by them on CD, I think. Uh, might be Shogun. Might be. Uh, I like them, but I haven't really um, come around to listen to them all that much yet. But I want to do that, definitely want to do that, because I like them. Matt Heavy uh, seems to be a very likable guy, the singer and guitarist, that is. He seems to be very likable. Hello, Nicole! Or Nicole! Thank you very much for subscribing and thanks for joining the channel, so to speak. Greatly appreciated. Um, if you would speak German, I would be able to understand a bit of it. I do want to eventually learn Deutsch, since I want to be able to speak and understand multiple languages. Uh, yeah, that's always fun, I think. And also to see, to be able to see similarities between languages and differences because of that. I think that's very interesting as well. I actually, long, long time ago, might need to make a new video like that in the future. Long, long time ago, actually, I made a video, a language comparison video, Germany versus Japanese. So if you uh, look for, or if you search um, and type in something like Vlog Dave German versus Japanese or German Japanese, you might find that video if you wanna take a look, uh, wanna watch that entirely even, yeah. Um, but, 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 do you have any physical copies of Rammstein CDs or vinyl? And I've been trying to learn German. And all I had was a German dictionary from 1959. <laughs> okay, then I found you. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you very much. Yes, I actually have a couple of German Rammstein albums, uh, and I also have a quite precious one. Cut rules 14 or COD Call of Duty. That is <laughs> rules. 14 thanks for subscribing um i have the original the first initial prints of liebe ist für alle da the uncensored version because after a couple of weeks i think or a couple of days uh, when that was released in 2009 that was um, actually or that needed to be censored because of uh, you know the german state actually said you know no 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 uh Ich tue dir weh, the song, uh, no, that's not appropriate for children, and uh, I think they said uh, something like that. So they had to censor that in later versions of that album, later releases of that album. But I have the original, the uncensored one, and uh, that's that's pretty cool. Um, very true, Moshi Kyochi. Mochi Koichi, sorry. Um, I totally agree. 
it's like a really simple line. Meine Augen werden Ohren, my ears become eyes. But when you think about it, it's just cool. It, it fits the purpose. It sounds great. It makes you think. It works well with the other lines in the chorus and the song as a whole. And it's just awesome. I like Till as a lyricist and poet for that matter. Thanks, now I've learned something today. That's awesome. I first saw you in a Get Germanized video and instantly went onto your channel. I think the first video I saw of yours was a video explaining the articles Die, Der und Das. Oh, that was quite some time ago, actually, um, that I made that video, but I remember. That is cool. Yeah, I mean, Get Germanized, Vuku is a very, very likable, very friendly, very good friend of mine still. Um, got to know him in 2015 as, uh, 2015 as well. And he also inspired me to start this channel in the first place, along with uh, Sam Walton Man, or as his channel is called, The Real Sam Walton, another YouTube friend of mine. Uh, he isn't really active on YouTube anymore at the moment, I don't think, but he also inspired me to start the channel, yeah. Definitely. Do you like Ghost? Yes, I pretty much like them. Don't know too many th songs by them. I like Ritual, actually. I, uh, the live version from the studio. I've listened to that quite a lot. Like that. But uh, other than that, I have to check out more by them. Dankeschön für, <laughs> Dankeschön für the compliment. Yes, you're welcome. Yes, I heard it takes several hours to edit a YouTube video. So I understand that it's really time consuming. Yes, it, it really can be. Uh, your pronunciation of my name was perfect. Well, that's great. That's great to hear. Tiefe Brunnen muss man graben, wenn man klares Wasser will. Oh yeah, that's another great line. You have to dig uh, deep fountains uh, when you're looking for clear water. Or clean water, that is. From Rosenrot. That is a great line as well. Hmm... Tiefe Brunnen muss man graben, wenn man klares Wasser will. Rosenrot, oh Rosenrot, tiefe Wasser sind nicht still. Hm. What do I mean? What do I think that means? Um, I think there it refers to something like a deeper meaning of things and you really need to well, go looking for a deeper meaning in order to understand someone or their intentions for that matter and uh, you have to really dig deep and ask things you have to get involved with that person um, maybe it could mean something like that um, yeah maybe um, that's weird my favorite song is Ich tu dir weh uh, that's also another great song I think the um, um, also, that that has really strange, crazy lines. Um, Und für die Nagetiere ein, for instance, that is, that's just rad, that line. That's just insane, <laughs> in a way. Ah, but I love them for including those lines and uh, make you laugh. <laughs> um, yeah. And to answer one of your questions you asked, I first found out about your channel when you played a Spyro game and sort of thought, uh, taught all the German vocabulary related to games and objects there. Awesome, okay. That is nice to know. Because uh, I actually think um, I wanna, well, make more, a couple new videos like that. Sir Jekyll Studio just subscribed. Thank you very much, Sir Jekyll Studio. And welcome. Uh, I actually want to make a couple of new videos like those in the future as well, like l learn German with video games, uh, with different video games. Um, yeah. Do you like Opeth? I'm a huge fan of Swedish metal. Yes, Opeth are awesome. I love them. Haven't seen them live yet. Definitely need to see them live, but I like Mika Ackerfeld. Uh, both the clean vocals and the growls in earlier Opeth stuff. I think my favorite album by them from the uh, old school days would probably be Ghost Reveries. First one I listened to and what uh, what I found them with, so to speak, was Watershed in 2008. And from the new ones I also like Sorceress definitely, although it's different of course, um, but I also like the new Opeth albums too. Keep up the great work. I will, Lewis. I will. 
And thanks again for saying that. That really means a lot. From all the Ramstein songs that I have heard so many uh, so far, my favorite song is Sonne. Have you actually watched my um, analysis video on Sonne? If not, well, feel free to do so because I've actually analyzed and translated the whole Sonne lyrics to English and I've actually, well, given some background information as to what this song was intended to be about, what it is about, what it could be about, also in combination with the music video, so yeah. Um, do you like Nine Inch Nails? Yes, I do. I think Trent Reznor is a musical genius, definitely. And I would have loved for his project with Maynard James Keenan from Tool to have worked out. I think what was about to be called Tape Worm, but then it didn't come about for some reason. Um, yeah. Have you listened to Mark Tremonti's side project? You mean uh, the Tremonti project that he has? Yes, I also like that quite a lot. And that is actually interesting that you mentioned that. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite albums by them is um, All I Was, the first Tremonti solo record. That is a really good album from start to finish. One of my favorites, definitely, in that genre. Um, I love Sonne and Links 234. Yes, both great songs. I've seen Opeth live like eight times. Wow. I would really like to go like see them live. Um, I haven't really gotten around to do that yet. Have met them four times. You have met them four times. Wow. I told him he is my god. Oh. Uh, I saw them play that album twice for their... Wow. That is awesome. Jayom Zara just subscribed. Thank you very much. Jayom. I think... Sometimes it's really tricky for me to pronounce your names correct because they are quite unusual in Germany. Um, so I didn't butcher that. Um, thank you very much. And that is that is insane. Like, um, yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing band. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely need to see them live. And I hope that they are going to release a new album in the not too distant future. Kaya Larsen just subscribed. Thank you very much for doing so, Kaya. You're welcome in the literal sense of the world as well. In the world, <laughs> literal sense of the world. Yeah, of the word. <laughs> mein Teil, yes, that is awesome as well. Denn du bist, was du isst, und ihr wisst, dass es, was es ist. Oh yeah. Learn German with your video game sounds like a fantastic idea. And Sonne is my favorite song from Rammstein. It's awesome. I'm a big, big Opeth fan. I have the logo tattooed on my leg. I love the logo by Opeth. It's awesome. Okay, guys, um, I'm getting more hungry by the minute, and uh, we have um, 9 p.m., uh, 11 p.m. German time by now. So I'm going to end the stream right here, right now. I want to thank you all so very much for tuning in, for chatting with me. That was a lot of fun, and we should definitely continue doing that. And um, we will. We will definitely do that again in the future, so don't worry. There will be more live streams to come in the future as well, every now and then. So, thank you. Thank you for your kind words, for watching my videos, for your support on uh, PayPal, for instance, or here via Super Chat, via Patreon, uh, via sharing my videos on social media, on Reddit, because that really helps a whole lot as well. You can't imagine how much that actually helps. I know of one of my viewers, Kimberly, who actually, uh, Kimberly actually shared, I think, one or two of my Rammstein videos on Reddit, and that was that's insane. I mean, I, you know, that is really cool, and I really appreciate that. So thank you also very much, and stay tuned for more Rammstein videos in the future. Once again, I'm not only gonna do Rammstein videos, so. Um, Please don't be surprised if I'm also going to do other kinds of videos on this channel. Always German related though, uh, in a way. But of course I'm also continue doing Rammstein related videos. Of course I will. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Looking forward to the album next month. Um, hope it's going to be great. But if it can keep up with the quality of both Deutschland and Radio, Radio, um, I think it's gonna be a great album. 
might actually turn out to be one of my new favorites by them. Who knows? Thank you very much. Good night, good day, good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is at your place right now. Um, I'm gonna eat something now and see you in the next video. And thanks for everything from the bottom of my heart, honestly. It really means a lot. So, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm your Vlog Dave. Tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal. Bye bye.